What's today? Today, live. It's Saturday. No, it's not. <laughs> it is the last time I will be doing clinical medicine in Oregon because I'm hanging up my, sh my shingle. No, you hang up your shingle when you start. I'm taking down my shingle, hanging up my license here in Oregon. And so this is my last day of seeing patients in this state. First patient of the last day. First patient of the last day. So we are go certainly see seeing a whole lot of kids with colds and coughs. See that? That doesn't hurt, huh? Huh. You have a red, slightly bulging eardrum on that side. So that's a slight, moderate ear infection. Uh, ah. Good job. The best patient I've had all day. <laughs> good job. How's your tummy feel? Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> Her eardrum's a bit pink. It's bulging a little bit out and there's fluid behind there. Ear infections can be bacterial or viral. Thank you. You're welcome. So I have a present for you. Mickey. Mickey? Okay. This book belongs to Alice. Love, Dr. Paul. You're welcome. <laughs> this office that I'm in, Integrative Pediatrics, we started in 2008. Uh, when I left my old group practice over the issue of informed consent. So that was kind of the, the gem that was integrative pediatrics was parents, you get to decide what you do with your children about anything, any kind of medical treatment, including vaccines. And it made this place a very unique and safe place for parents and for kids, uh, families who have vaccine injury, um, kids who've had a vaccine injury, not wanting to exacerbate that anymore. And just simply, uh, you know, when you can partner with your clinicians, with your doctors, uh, and they'll allow you to be the parent and do whatever you want to do, so many would say this was the only place we could go. So it's a model I hope every doctor out there will get back to where we truly give informed consent. You know, that's the foundation of ethical medicine. It's, it's how we were taught in medical school back 35 years ago when I was in medical school, not to be paternalistic. Paternalistic is where, you know, daddy knows best, or in this case, doctor knows best. And I mean, it's a complex world out there. We know a lot, but we don't always know best, especially what's right for your kid. So anyway, that was a little background on the philosophy upon which this practice was developed. Hello. And my ear looks okay. Open wide and say ah. Ah, we've got a red throat with very large tonsils. Good Let's job. Go. Again. <laughs> Sweetie. Open. Got it. And it is negative. It turns out it's not strep. <laughs> Bunny it is for you. Are you sad? I don't feel sad yet. Does it, it not quite feel real yet? As far as oh, it's it totally your last doesn't day? feel it totally doesn't feel real. It was, I, I drove to work. It was just another day to work, and I think probably next week I'm I'm flying to South Dakota to to give a talk, and um, that's something I'm going to be doing, is speaking more, traveling the country, speaking on health freedom issues. Uh, I've got all this data, vaxed unvaxed data, that's so important for the world to hear and know about. Uh, I'll be completely free as an unlicensed doctor in Oregon. That, that was the state that had put their stipulations on me. Uh, so basically I'll be a citizen, a uh, citizen journalist, investigative journalist, and um, I've got my show, Against the Wind. You can go to doctorsandscience.com and sign up to be a member, support that if you wish, or just watch it for free. And I will be writing. I've got a, two, three books in mind that need to be written, as well as um, there's something else I'm supposed to be doing and it's not crystal clear yet. So hmm. stay tuned. Cool. It'll be a good day. It's going to be a great day. Hello. Okay, we tried the garlic sauce. Keep doing them. I'm sorry, you don't feel good. I'm sorry. Oh. Um, 
fire recipe is usually a really bad cold, especially for older kids and adults. But as you see, it can be miserable. We saw a couple of really miserable kids and to make matters worse, mom's sick and the older kid at home is sick. Uh, it's a real deal. That was one sick family. So it's the last day that my dad is uh, officially practicing medicine, at least we think. And uh, the staff here has put together a little surprise goodbye meal with some sentiments, some gifts, and, and some well wishes. So it should be good. Mm -hmm. I heard my bell ringing. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh bunt, bunt cake. Oh, look at all you people. Wonderful people. I've got a nice salad and some broccoli casserole and some guac and some fruit salad. And then I veer off into the yummy yes. mac and cheese and cheese and crackers. <laughs> it's a golden clock. <laughs> That's awesome. People ask me, how do you feel? Before I knew that this place was safe, I felt terrible. Really bad. But knowing that you guys are keeping it going, sorry about the tears, because I was just feeling about how I felt before I knew that the place was safe. That really hurt. So big blessing you two for stepping up and for all of you that I, I feel like I can honestly tell the patients and we have all been telling them the heart of this place lives on mm -hmm. so always will. and I think it always will and wherever I am no matter what I'm doing I'm there for you guys thank you all <laughs> folks this is crazy after about 10 years of giving you content here from the office, Integrated Pediatrics, I'm going in to see my last patient. We're gonna still get you content, but this part of what I do is changing, morphing. This is really weird. I, I'm actually, it's actually hitting me how weird this is. This is weird. You've been doing it for 10 years. Yeah, I've been following you around for 10, for 10 years. years. Okay, look who I found. Hi, buddy, how you doing? Stud. It's good to see you. You gonna go go to the hospital tomorrow? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Okay. Let me listen to your heart. See if your heart's up for this. Your heart sounds good. Okay, big breath, go like this. Harder. Yeah, harder. <laughs> Again? Look in your ears. Should we look at your nose? <laughs> you blow your nose. Do you know how to blow your nose? That ear is perfect. <laughs> Good job. Well, he's having surgery. I'm okay. Having surgery yep. tomorrow. Tomorrow, the the tip of the penis where the urine comes out, it's mm -hmm. called the meatus. It's a little tight. Yeah, he's got great air sounds, and he'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? So, you have anything to say? Yeah. The last patient. The last seen. patient in this for me in my career after 35 years. What do you think? <laughs> it's okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. It is going to be okay. Every little thing's going to be okay. Yeah. Oh, I got something for you. Wait, wait right here. I'm going to bring you something special to say thank you for being my last patient and one of my favorite patients of all time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pop tro, pop tro, here we go, pop tro. I don't know what I'm singing. I've never seen the show. <laughs> this is for you. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah, your very own pop tro. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys. Yeah. 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 It's very verbal. Crazy. That's it. That's it for this office. 10 years later, however many hundred episodes. That's it. Last episode on YouTube in here. That's it, 10 years. That's it. See you in the next chapter.